Hey guys, well, before we even start our game of Card Shark, we have two yeah. people that have just uh, uh, passed away. The first one is whom, um, Cody? First one is a uh, radio imaging voice talent, Brian James. Uh, Sabrina Fairchild mentioned it to me in an email this morning that he said that she said that she, um, he died Wednesday of a heart attack at age 48. Yeah, and that's a short life, guys. Um, now, now, now all 300 stations who use them have to replace them, and they're not looking forward to that. Yeah. Gone too soon. And um, another person that has died is a person that I know real well who's been on the Brady Bunch in the 70s, well, the 60s and then the 70s. Florence Henderson died at the age of 82 years old. Uh, wow. the, the last time we saw her, she was in the audience for Dancing with the Stars a few days ago, actually. The finale? Yep. And, you know, she had a heart condition. So, we'll just... Uh, right? Yep. So oh. we'll, So, we'll just do a moment of silence for the two individuals right, right quick. And then we'll start the fun. Okay, guys. Well, let's start right. the game All of right. of aces, high, deuces, low card charts. Our returning champion with thirty nine thousand dollars is Ben Mason. Oh, Mr. Ronnie, and hey. how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Uh, in case you're wondering right now, I've got uh, Kentucky Fried right next to me. Oh, okay. Do I love you yeah, I love Kentucky Fried. Okay, cut that deck with number six. Number six. Oh, you having K? Oh, you're having KFC tonight, huh? Yeah, what, what feet? No, I said KFC. KFC. KFC, right? Finger looking good. And, and, and by the way, I cut the deck with number six because that's been a big theme recently here on Card Sharks. Okay. All right. Awesome. And our next opponent, my good friend Brandon Scruggs. How you doing, Brandon? Good, Ronnie. How about yourself? Good, good, good. You have a good number? Yes, 27. Going 27. And without further ado, let's do car charge! Brandon just popped in there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, he does the card sharks. It should be a great night. Now let's get to the card. Ladies and gentlemen, feel the card please. <laughs> Brandon, and we'll get this game started. The first game is worth a thousand dollars, and for anybody that gets the survey right on the nose today, is ten thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Let's bring the R two D two out, and we're ready to go. Here is the first question of Card Sharks, and the question goes to you, Ben. We we ask one hundred men. Have you ever spent the night on a park bench? How many men admit they have spent the night on the park on the park bench, uh, Ben? If you spend the night on a park bench, that tells me you don't have a place to live. Seriously. Not necessarily. But, uh, in this time of year, if you spend the night on a park bench, 
You basically freeze to death if you're not about to block. Okay. Let's go. Oh, let's go with the thirty. He's going 37, okay? Alright, Brandon, do you believe that number is hotter than 37? Well, with as, as rough as the economy has been the past couple of years, I feel like people ended up having to make some tough decisions and probably have had to go through some rough periods in their lives. So I would say the answer is going to be just a little bit higher. A little higher, okay. Sounds reasonable. Now, if it is higher, Brandon, you'll play your cards. If it's 37 or lower, uh, ben will play his cards. If it's 37 exactly, Ben will get a $10,000 bonus, just like that. The actual number of men that admitted that they have slept on a park bench overnight is 14 is not higher, is lower. So, Ben, you get it. Ben, you have a 2 showing. Oh, let's go higher. Higher than a 2. It's a 6. My favorite card. I said higher, Ronnie. Oh, I didn't hear you. Higher than six. It's an ace. Lower. Lower than an ace. It's a jack. Lower. To win the first game very quickly. Lower than a jack. Nicely done. All right. What? All right. That's four. That's forty thousand dollars, and just like that, we're gonna add five hundred dollars to the on the nose jackpot. And this under-nose jackpot is that Hey, let me just interrupt. Yes, uh, I just want to say he did what? Huh? I just want to say he did what? I just want to say he did what? <laughs> yeah, he ran the cards qu quickly. Oh man. Yep. Yep. So, now the under-nose... Go ahead, Cody. No, I just said sorry for interrupting. That's okay. Now the under nose jackpot is at uh, $10,500 and just like that, Brandon, you have to um, win this game in order to stick around, Brandon, okay? All right. Here's your question, Brandon. We asked 100 people, have you ever peeped, have you ever peeped through a keyhole and seen nothing but another eye peeping back at you, Brandon? <laughs> How many people said they have? Um, probably not as many as think. Um, there's a lot, a lot of key, keys nowadays are using the more modern keys, so you can't really see through them as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, I'm going to say probably, let's say around 22. Going 22. Alright, Ben, is it high or lower than 22? Hold on a second while I go look through the people. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <Only four. laughs> I, I did it. <laughs> Let's go higher than 22, Ryan. He's going higher than 22. Okay, thank you, Ben. The actual number of people who said that they have peeped through a keyhole and see nothing but another eye peek being back at them is only 10 is not higher, is lower. All right, Brandon, so you get your chance at the cards. Your card is a four, Brandon. I'll keep it and go higher. Higher than a four. It's a ten. I'll continue on lower. Lower than a ten. No, it's a jack. Oh. Free chance to you, Ben. You have an ace. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Lower. Lower than an ace. It's a four. Higher. Higher than a four. It's a king. Lower. Lower than a king. It's a 10. Lower. <gasps> to win this game in two questions, lower than 10. No, you're going back to your A. I thought we was going to finish this game in two questions. Oh, well. I would have been a first. I would have been a first. Actually, no. It, it happened before, Cody. It has, oh, okay. it has happened before. It would have been the first this season. Yep. But uh, we go to you now, Ben. Ben, we found 100 women on a diet and asked them, have you ever gained so much weight that your rings wouldn't fit on your fingers? How many women dieters said yes, they gained so much weight that their rings would not fit on their fingers, Ben? I'm not going to say 
say anything about this. I'm just going to give you an answer. Thank you. You're welcome. 34. Going 34. Okay, Brandon, is it higher or lower than 34? Mm. I must say higher. Higher than 34. All right, the actual number of women doctors that say yes, they gained so much weight that their rings wouldn't fit on their fingers is 27 is not higher, is lower. All right, Ben, you have that A still. Of course I do. Let's go lower. Lower than the ace. It's a king. Lower again. Bro. Lower than a king. It's an eight. Oh, a chance right there. I'm going to freeze. Freezing, keeping Brandon away from his cards. Third question, and it goes to Brandon. Well, this is a good question, Brandon. Some people, I won't say any names, can relate to this. We asked one of the people, Brandon. All right, guys, we're going to have to take a commercial break because my wife is calling. We'll be right back, guys. Sorry. And now back to your regularly scheduled production. Thank you. We're back to Car Shark. Sorry about the interruption, guys. I had to pick up the phone because my wife called. And as I remember, the question went to Brandon. So here it is. And I think many people can relate to this because of the stuff that is going on right now. And here's the question, uh, Brandon. Uh -huh. We asked 100 people, do you hold a grudge? That's a good question, ain't it? It is. How many people said that they do hold a grudge? Mm, most people would like to consider themselves level-headed, but there are just some people out there that no matter how much you try to work with them, they're always going to have an axe to grind. So I'm going to guess about three out of every five would, I'd say. So I'm, that would be about 60. 60, okay. We're going to talk more about this after the game, Brandon. All right. Yes. All right, Ben, higher or lower than 60 anyway? Ah, okay. 60 folks holding a grudge. Hmm. It's lower than that, I think. I don't know, I think. Okay, lower than 60. Uh, the actual number of people that said they do hold a grudge is 45. It is a little lower. Good job, Ben. That's still a lot. Okay, you have an 8 showing, Ben. You want to change it or keep it? Oh, I think I'm going to change it. I'm, I'm, I have to. This is the first card change of the day. The 8 becomes a 2! got to be kidding me, Rodney. Higher. Higher than a 2. It's a queen! Watch this. Lower. To win the, a third match, lower than a queen? You did it, Ben! All right. Good game, Brandon. All right. Good job, Ben. Good job, Ben. Ben, 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 Brandon, I hate that he did that to you, Brandon. He didn't give you a chance, hardly. We're going to give you... Yeah, he had a good card. What can I say? Yeah. We're going to give you a consolation prize, Brandon, of $500 in our congratulations. Well, thank you for having me. No problem. All right, Ben, well, that's your third win. Win five games in a row. You're going to go off and win a $25,000 bonus, Ben. He, 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 oh, I just love it. he just blew that opponent. Yeah, I mean, wasn't Brandon didn't have no chance at it, and that sometimes it's Zero. you know. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's go off to the money cards. I can't wait to see what you do with these money cards. Let's get to it. What number would you like to cut the debt, Ben? Yeah. Woo. Let's cut the deck with number 26 right in, in the middle. Okay, 26. You already know the rules of the game. You can parlay this to one to $44,000. Let's give you $1,000 to start. And your opening card for $1,000 is a, a 7. Oh, it's lucky. 
lucky, but in this game, it's not lucky. Change it with numero uno. He's changing the card with number one, okay. The seven becomes a jack, $1,000 to work with. Okay. Lower, right, so let's go $1,000 lower. You're going with the $1,000? Wait a minute, I don't even have to do that. $1,000 lower, okay. $1,000 lower than a jack. It's a four, you have $2,000 and a four. Why not? The whole ball of wax, higher. Everything higher than a four. No, you busted, but you got it. But you have a good card. You have a good card of a two. You can still make it work. One thousand dollars in a two, Ben. <laughs> oh, let's uh, let's shoot the whole thing higher. Okay, everything higher than a two. It's a six. Two thousand dollars in a six. Change with number three. Okay, he's going to change the card. The six becomes a jack. Two thousand dollars in a jack. One thousand dollars lower. One thousand dollars lower than a jack. It's a five. Three thousand dollars and a five, man. Two thousand dollars higher. Two thousand dollars higher than a five. It's a six. Good. You have five thousand dollars, Ben. Now, are we keeping the six or are we changing it? We're changing it with the deuce. Okay. It's your final change. The six becomes a nine. Now you have to bid at least $2,500 in this play of the cards. You can bid more. What's your big bet, Ben? Let's go $3,000 and go lower. For $8,000 or $2,000 if you're wrong, lower than a nine. There you go, $8,000. Ben do, you love, ben, do you love even numbers? I sure do. Because with your money, your previous winnings, you're up to even $50,000. And we're going to take a break, and we're going to have a new challenger joining us right after this. Don't go away. Nicely done, Ben. Thank you, Rodney.